people are taking to the water all over Ireland. Be it on fast flowing or meandering rivers, wide open or island dotted lakes. Whether in rural landscapes or with urban backdrops, or indeed 19th century man-made canals. Ireland's inland waterways have something to offer everyone. Tourists from all over Europe are flocking here for the stunning scenery and the famous hospitality. And it's not only for tourists. Local people also find relaxation, recreation, challenges and thrills. And prosperity flows in their wake. There are over 1,000 kilometres of waterways passing through some of the most scenic parts of the island. Navigation from Limerick to Dublin, Waterford to Enniskillen, Loch Ney to Colray. The waterways are home to thousands of craft of all shapes and sizes, with, with 9,000 cruisers and barges, some 400 of them for hire to the growing number of tourists that are discovering that waterways in Ireland are a perfect holiday location. And of course, it's not just cruising. The waterways provide leisure time for a huge range of activities. on the water brings economic revival beside it. New apartments are springing up, bringing new developments to historic towns. Tourism is fueling economic revival and jobs. Underpinning all this development is Waterways Ireland, one of six cross-border bodies set up as part of the British Irish Agreement and funded by both governments. Waterways Ireland has invested millions in the waterways infrastructure since its inception and is revitalizing the island's waterways network. New marinas, jetties and moorings have been constructed with improved shore facilities for tourists and locals alike. With headquarters in Enniskillen and offices all over the island, Waterways Ireland has professionals in engineering, IT, finance, policy development and property. People with the right skills in the right places to take the waterways into the 21st century and beyond. With over 100 locks to navigate, the lock keepers are the front line on the waterways. They keep the boats moving and offer friendly advice to tourists and locals alike. Safety is always a prime consideration and the Navigation Inspectorate makes sure that the navigation channels are clearly identified and that all users of the waterways follow the safety rules and abide by the bylaws.
waterway down and operates a large fleet of construction plant, boats and equipment across the 1,000 kilometres of waterways under its care. The plant management system is an IT system developed by Waterways Ireland to manage these assets. It allows the collation, storage and reporting of plant information. The bridge management system was created to provide a bridge inventory, condition assessment, 3D laser scanning and database development services for 342 bridges and aqueducts. The Waterways Ireland team could take a project from concept through design to construction. Engineers and technicians are constantly upgrading locks, jetties and moorings and providing new ones to help increase accessibility for navigators. Restoration work to open up old disused sections has brought life back to the Royal Canal. Here at Abbey Shrule in County Longford, traditional craftsmanship allied with modern construction methods means that new work has blended in and kept the original character of the canal. And the Royal Canal has finally been reconnected to the Shannon with the refurbishment of Richmond Harbour at Clondra in October 2010. Restoration work on the Ulster Canal from Upper Loch Erne to Clonus began in 2007. The capital cost of 35 million euro will be met by the Irish Exchequer and maintenance costs on completion of the project in the order of 300,000 euro will be met by the Northern Ireland Executive and the Irish Government. The project is programmed to be complete in 2013. Waterways Ireland works closely with tourist organisations at home and abroad. At major international exhibitions, Ireland's waterways are for the first time being promoted as a single tourist destination. The Lakelands and Inland Waterways Initiative is a marketing and destination development initiative focused on attracting people to enjoy and experience the areas from Balik to Limerick and encompassing a wide corridor along Loch Erne, the Shannon Erne Canal and the Shannon. A raft of brochures and other literature is produced for potential customers and tourists and Waterways Ireland works closely with local companies to make sure that the right information and the right material is getting to the right markets. And of course, this is all supported by a state-of-the-art interactive website with up-to-date information. Sponsorship of local events and festivals is bringing life back to the waterways putting the waterways at the centre of the community and involving people from all walks of life. Sponsoring major international events puts Waterways Ireland on a world stage in front of a worldwide audience. Waterways Ireland, in promoting the waterways to local communities, is also raising awareness with councils, community groups and schools involving society today and educating the next generation. Waterways are an integral part of our heritage. Mystical monasteries and medieval castles hug their shores. And of course, there is a heritage that was built for the waterways themselves. Our waterways provide a sanctuary and a home to some of our most treasured wildlife. They provide a rural haven in urban environments. A wide variety of plants, animals and fish have colonised the banks, hedgerows and watercourses, constantly developing the waterways of Ireland as wildlife habitats. Our waterways are a priceless treasure that bring enjoyment, relaxation and prosperity. Waterways Ireland is the guardian of that treasure.